Hello and welcome to Learning Reactive by Eduonix. My name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor for this course. So a little information about myself. I have around 12 years experience in web development and programming. For the last four or five years I've been teaching web development courses much like this one. I specialize in JavaScript as well as various server-side web development technologies such as Node.js, PHP, Ruby on Rails. I also do a bit of database administration. All right, so if you enjoy this course, I do have many more at eduonics.com if you're interested. So, reactive.js, this is a template driven UI library, not to be confused with a framework like AngularJS. This library relates to the view only. It's used to build interfaces, user interfaces. Uh, of course, you can use it along with other technologies that can interact with backend databases and stuff like that, but Reactive is based in the view only. It's very powerful and extensible. It uses two-way data binding, SVG support, and much more. It's fairly easy to learn, especially if you have experience with other JS technologies like React or Angular. Uh, what makes Reactive shine is its virtual DOM. Okay, so it has a virtual doc document object model that basically creates its own scaled down version of the browser DOM and can update targeted parts of the application without having to reload the page. So what you'll learn in this course, you'll learn all the fundamentals of Reactive. It's super easy to get started. Uh, basically all we have to do is include one JS file and we can use all of its features. Okay, so it uses mustache templates which are really powerful. Uh, it uses its own event system with proxy events and method calls. It also has a rendering lifecycle, which has its own events that we can hook into really easily. If you've ever used React.js, it's pretty similar to that. Uh, it uses two-way data binding like AngularJS does. We have observers that can subscribe and unsubscribe to certain functions and certain pieces of data. Um, there's also a component aspect, so we can encapsulate everything into separate components. And we can even do some basic animation and transitions. So course details, we have six sections, and we have five learning sections and one project section. Okay, the project will be a user manager with full CRUD functionality, create, read, update, and delete. So there's four to six lectures per section and one video in each lecture along with any project files that, that go with that video. There's also one small quiz per section. So here's a list of the different sections. We have getting started with Reactive where we just pretty much talk about what it is, uh, compare it to a couple other technologies, and look at the basic syntax. Section two, we'll be talking about mustache templates, so variables, we, we can do iteration with in each loop. Um, we can divide things into sections. And we'll also look at partials, where we can put one template into another. Section three, we'll be working with events, so things like proxy events, uh, method calls. We'll look at the lifecycle events, and we'll also build a, a really simple slideshow using some of the technology that we learn. Section four will be data binding, which includes two-way data binding, observers, computed properties, and how to create simple components. Section five will be animation and transitions, so we'll look at the animate method along with using the animate method with SVG, which is scalable vector graphics, and also transitions such as fade slide and fly. And then in section six, we'll create our user manager project and we're going to set up a, an application environment using Node.js, using Webpack and Babel, which will compile JavaScript for us into uh, from ES 2015 code into ES5. And if that sounds like absolute gibberish, don't worry about it. I'll explain it as we go along and that's it. So I will see you in the next video.